Jennings puts a curse on you. Either you're gonna make it, or you're gonna fall into that grave. The girls, they didn't deserve what the hell they got. There were eight dead women, no justice for any of those women. It's like they never existed. I'm Ethan Brown, the author of Murder in the Bayou. I'm an investigative reporter, editor, and author of four books. Brown's book about eight killings in a tiny Louisiana town in Jefferson Davis Parish has been made into a documentary for Showtime. The murders have never been solved. They have come to be called the Jeff Davis Eight. If you're a drug trafficker anywhere in this area, you are picking up cocaine and other drugs from Houston, which is obviously an enormous port city, and then you are then moving them on I-10 East, and you would actually go through Jennings to move those drugs. So the I-10 section where Jennings is located has almost kind of cartel level of drugs running through it. That creates drug problems, it creates corruption, and it's sort of like Jennings is a port city, but the port is not water, it's I-10. Here's another body, here's another one. Oh my God, there's another body. What's really going on in this town? I first started hearing about this in 2010. I had a case that was taking me back and forth between New Orleans and Calcasieu Parish on that I-10 stretch. When I drove on that stretch, this was about a year after the last homicide in 2009, there were large billboards on I-10 featuring the faces of the eight women. What is this? This is fascinating and strange. These women's faces are on billboards, along with billboards for casinos and hunting shops and gas stations. And suddenly here are eight dead women in the middle of all of this. The Jeff Davis Eight refers to eight women. All eight of the women were from the south side of the tracks. There's that cliche, you're from the other side of the tracks. This is literally the cliche come to life. They were working poor. They struggled with all kinds of things, from mental illness to substance abuse disorder, and really like the day-to-day -day grind of being working poor. You know, how do I get enough money to eat? Where do I live? Like all of these like really deep struggles. They were also sex workers who ran in the same circles and got high with the same people including pimps, criminals, and law enforcement officers, according to interviews Brown conducted for his book. These women are struggling. They, however, have large families. They have partners, husbands, kids, sometimes multiple kids, and they are loved in their small community. They're loved by their families. Victim number seven, Brittany Gary, she was 17 years old when she was killed. Her death occurs in November of 2008. Her mother is just this force of nature kind of personality. My child is alive out there somewhere. <laughs> I know this. Her mother was involved in putting together a search party for her. Her mother was deeply involved in doing a ton of media at the time in 2008. I made a promise that I would find her and I would not stop until I did, and I'm not going to stop. Her mother and her mother's pushing results in the creation of a multi-agency task force, which is created in the late fall of 2008, very soon after Brittany's murder. The multi-agency task force is comprised of the FBI, Jennings Police, and numerous sheriff's offices in the area, including the Jeff Davis Parish Sheriff's Office. When the task force is created in late 2008, there's an initial sense of optimism around this. Like, wow, a lot of people are involved in this. A lot of agencies are involved in this. Maybe this is being taken seriously now. But that optimism 
quickly gave way to despair. And then, incredibly, the last victim, victim number eight, occurs within six months or so of the task force's inception. They can kill in this town and get away with it because this is the devil's playground and they're running right along with him. My theory about this case is that it's definitely not a serial killer. It is a conspiracy of a small group of people who want to basically take these women out and erase this milieu of women from the earth. And mission accomplished on that, I believe. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Deborah Hastings.